Hello, this video will cover the unboxing, installation, and operation of the BioSB Tinto Retriever pressure cooker. The BioSB Tinto Retriever offers fast and uniform epitope or nucleic acid retrieval with built-in temperature validations, low reagent requirements, and multiple temperature settings. It comes with optional temperature validation slides. When you receive your pressure cooker, please follow the unpacking instructions provided to you with the shipment, and be sure all parts have been included before discarding any packaging material. Please note that the condensation collector, the pressure limit valve, and the power cord are all stored in the top part of the packaging. Please be sure all these parts have been included before discarding any packaging material. Remove the remaining packaging and place the pressure cooker on a clean, flat surface and thoroughly clean all parts with a towel or rag. Place the clean and dry working chamber into the main body. When you're ready for operation, place the pressure cooker in your lab on a clean, flat surface. Plug the power cord into the back of the pressure cooker and into an outlet. Place the condensation collector onto the rear of the main cooker body until it clicks into place, as shown here. Next, place the pressure limit valve on the lid, as shown here. Please note, even though the pressure limit valve will have a loose fit, it is safely secured. Next, position the trivet inside the working chamber, legs down, and pour approximately 500 milliliters to 1,000 milliliters of water into the working chamber to barely cover the trivet surface. Next, prepare the reagent holder with the slides in the slide rack and gently fill the container with BioSB ImmunoDNA Retriever with Citrate or BioSB ImmunoDNA Retriever with EDTA. Place the prepared container inside the working chamber on top of the trivet. Make sure the bottom of the container makes good contact with the water in the working chamber. Place and secure the lid onto the cooker's main body. This is done by placing the lid onto the working chamber with the red pressure valve on the left and turning the lid counterclockwise to secure in place. Position the pressure limit valve into the pressure position as seen here. Press the menu button to select the pressure and press the time button until the desired time is lit. BioSB recommends a 15 minute time setting for proper epitope or nucleic acid retrieval. Press the start cancel button to start the procedure. The red pressure light will flash. As the pressure and temperature increase, the pressure valve on the top of the lid will rise and stay in place until the pressure is eventually released. Confirm that the red pressure valve has risen to the top, typically five to 10 minutes after the start of the cycle. Important note, if the red pressure valve does not rise to the top, it will prevent significant pressure buildup within the chamber and could cause overcooking of the samples. The timer will start counting down only after the unit reaches the preset temperature and pressure. At the end of the set time, the unit will beep and automatically switch to the keep warm setting until the start cancel button is pressed again. Carefully position the pressure limit valve into the release position to release the pressure. Please use caution, as steam coming out of the pressure limit valve can be a serious health hazard. Confirm that the red pressure valve has dropped, and remove the lid by turning it clockwise. Open and lift the working chamber. Remove the container with the slides from the working chamber, and allow the slides to cool for 15 to 20 minutes. You may now proceed with the slide treatment as recommended by your protocol. Our temperature slides can be used for validation and ensure that your slides reach the appropriate temperature during the process. Enjoy your results.